I'm Ben Canning, and this micro lecture is on acceleration. As always, you need three or more bullet points worth of notes, a one to two sentence summary, and to do your follow up questions on Google Forms. All right, so we've talked about velocity before, and velocity is how fast you're moving. So this car here is moving pretty quickly. Um, acceleration then is not how fast you're moving, but how fast your velocity is changing. So for example, if this car went from zero miles an hour to 50 miles an hour, we would be curious how fast is its velocity changing or how quickly is its velocity changing? Does it gain five miles an hour each second or 10 miles an hour each second? Um, so how quickly is its velocity changing? Now acceleration is a time rate. So it's how fast your velocity changes, not per distance or with distance, but with time. Now remember that velocity is a vector so as we change it uh, there are different ways we can change it one is by changing its magnitude and the other is by changing its direction alternatively we could change both those things so for example we could be changing the size of the velocity so from 22 miles an hour to 44 miles an hour we could be changing the direction of velocity from east to west while still staying at 22 miles an hour um, or we can be changing both of those things at the same time all of those are a form of acceleration. So you can accelerate by changing your speed, changing your direction, or changing both. Uh, so just a little repeat of that. So remember that and this is actually important that acceleration happens when you are changing your speed, or in other words, the magnitude of your velocity, changing the direction you're going, or changing both. All right, so your technical definition for acceleration is going to be change in velocity per unit time. So if we wanted to pull out an equation from that definition, we can see that change in velocity we'd represent as delta V. Per always just means a division or fraction symbol. And then time would just be down below. So that gives us the equation of acceleration equals change in velocity divided by time, where this triangle just means change, and it's referring to change in velocity. Now the variable for acceleration is a, and the units for it are meters per second squared. Uh, that can be written this way or this way. We are most commonly gonna write it with the um, uh, exponent notation. Another way to say this unit is meters per second per second. So that's meters per second per second or meters per second squared. Now, if we're trying to calculate our change in velocity, there's a couple or two, one way that we do it, um, but it's often written in two different formats. First way, uh, our first format is we take our final velocity, V, minus our initial velocity, U. Uh, remember that in this class, we use V for your final velocity. Um, and then anytime we have an initial velocity, we'll use U to represent that. So this is just final minus initial over time. That gives us the change in velocity, and then we divide it by time. Now, sometimes you'll see this written in another way where instead of V, they'll put VF for the final velocity and V0 for the initial velocity or the velocity at time zero. It's the same thing. So that's just another way of writing it. Now, last, we can rewrite our equation. So if we go back to acceleration equals change in velocity, so final minus initial over time. We can rewrite that by pulling time over here to this side and then uh, moving the uh, u to the other side as well. And what that looks like is this, where we get final velocity equals initial velocity plus the change times time, so acceleration times time. Where here, this just gives us our change in velocity and then we add it to what we started at and that gives us what we end with. If we rewrite this, that would look like this one. And that's it for this one. So three or more bullet points worth of notes, one to two sentence summary, and please do your follow-up questions on Google Forms.